Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Science of Superpowers. I'm Tonya Don Reckla. Thank you so much for joining us again. Today, we're going to be talking all about having difficult conversations. I recently had a chat with Chad Lefebvre on, on this show, all in celebration of our men of co-creation. And um, as part of that, we're looking at the, the variables, right, the factors, the elements that go into creating really good co-creative environments. And, and that's no small feat, as we've been discussing, right? Uh, co-creation is not for the faint of heart, and there are a lot of intricacies and nuances when we get into the energetics of it. And so, so part of that is being able to have conversations, right? Talk about things that are uncomfortable, right? Things that we don't agree on, maybe things that that we have real feelings about, that maybe that hurt our hearts, right? And and when we when we don't know how to manage those responses, it can be really intimidating to get into conversations where. We feel like um, those things are going to come up or where they do come up and then how to manage it, particularly when these are relationships that we really, really care about. And, and so there are a lot of ways that you can mitigate for this. And of course, there are numerous variables, not, not the least of which is you, right? How do you handle conversations? How do you want to handle conversation? There's no one size fits all, but there are some things we can all think about that help each of us develop our own ways of how we want to respond in certain situations that make us uncomfortable. First and foremost, it's important to remember you're going to be uncomfortable, right? Chances are really, really good that if you're having a conversation that means anything to you, somebody might not agree with everything that you're saying. It, but there's a really cool dynamic that works here that I think if we can wrap our minds around, it, it makes it a little bit easier when we disagree. So, so internally, as we're, as we're learning what we want to believe, what we want to think, right? And that's ever changing. Right? We're constantly reevaluating, right? Constantly assessing at an energetic level. And, and, and for a while that drives us a little bit crazy because our world feels a little bit more wonky than we'd like for it to because we're changing, right? Um, there, there's this whole developmental process that occurs before we're really ready to stay, state, you know, I am this and I, and I want to create this and this is the kind of life I want to live, right? That, that's an ongoing journey for us. And so you can imagine that each step of the way change occurs and here over the last few years we saw change occur really really rapidly and massive changes made a lot of people very very uncomfortable it's to be expected when we see these huge waves great fine that sounds like torture tonya thanks anyway right no no it's worth sticking it out and here's why i promise you it gets better so even though all of that's going on right we have ways that we can learn to actually use that right we've got folks working with it. it's like okay it's uncomfortable, but what's that really mean in my system? It means change is happening. How can I respond to that, right? And once you're able to get into a little bit more choice with how to respond to that, then you feel much more confident. You're able to imagine yourself in, in a bigger sort of perspective, if you will. It opens up your choices, right? Okay, so how do you do that, Tonya? Yes, please sign me up. I want all of that right now. Do you have a red pill? I'll take it. Um, no, and it's not as difficult as it sounds. So, but, but there is a little bit of work that goes into it. As you can imagine, you've been developing yourself differently than that for probably quite a long time now. So, so the unraveling can, can be a little bit, um, can take a moment. Here's where you start though, super simple. Imagine first, like one of the steps that we do over at Superpower Experts is the very first step, right? Is expanding your mind, right? And it seems so simple. We talk about it all the time. But it's really important to remember that most of us operate just right inside this, this little thing right here, right? And, and we're huge. We're incredibly expansive beings. But when we go to our own internal processor, right, our own internal computer in there, we're, we're quite limited in, in, our, um, in, in the scope of how we look at a situation. And so imagine just, just imagine the energy like that light that's shining in your head, just getting bigger, right? We teach that technique over at SIFA. The other thing that really, really, really helps in those situations is to do the exact opposite of what you'd like to do in those situations, and that's softening your heart, right? If these are relationships that matter to you to the extent that you can, in a moment, it's hard sometimes when we get triggered. And if you just can't, if you can't expand your mind and soften your heart, you may want to consider exiting the conversation for a minute until you can come back with a little bit more um, management of self. Because what we find is when we're not able to expand our mind a little bit and when we constrict our hearts, we say things um, that aren't kind. We say things we kind of like to take back later. 
Um, we let ourselves do things that, that cause real challenges in relationships. And, and while all of that can be forgiven and overcome, you got to forgive and overcome it, right? So that's its own process. And each one of us can exercise a little bit more management of self by simply expanding our minds, right? Just imagine that you've got this light inside your head and it just gets bigger, right? It sounds silly, but it changes everything, right? And then the next step is just softening the heart. And if this stuff sounds too woo-woo, trust me, go over to superpowerexperts.com. We have taught this stuff in some really, really concretized environments and it works. Don't judge it just because it's simple. The key is, and what's not always so simple, is in the moment, right? When you're charged, when you feel that, when it's like, ah, right? That means you're already caught up in it. That's what we need to get ahead of, right? And sometimes that's difficult, but even remembering that you can do these things makes it easier to catch yourself in the moment, right? So we'll start with just remembering when we're not triggered. So even right now, just visualize that and it's okay, right? You got a moment to go, okay. I'm not that program that's running. And that's huge. The second you can remember that you're in choice again, right? You, you can see things a little bit more clearly. And then you get to exercise choice. And that's a whole training in and of itself. But when we talked with Chad, we were talking about the most important conversation, right? His company that, that really is, is promoting this concept that we can be bigger, right? We can have bigger conversations. We can talk about things like our feelings, right? We don't have to... Um, walk around the world recreating from a place of limitation our own limited perspectives of self right our own limitations of, of how generous we can be how gracious we can be how loving we can be how um how in management of self we can be how sovereign we can be with our own energetics folks we're giving that stuff away for free right someone pushes a button you're like here's all my creative energy you can have it for free for free here you get some and you get some Right. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I just follow. I am blah, 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 right. All of that. That's useful stuff. Right. So so but we don't remember that when those buttons get pushed and, and, and no shock to anybody. Like a lot of these things are designed to push buttons because it keeps us entertained. Right. It keeps us active. We like it. We agree to the game. The second we open up the app on our phone, we agree to the game, folks. It's rather undeniable. And so if you're going to play the game, at least understand how the game is playing you, right? Otherwise, you're being played. Like, you're not playing anything. You are being played to somebody's benefit, or perhaps just the world, right? We like to be entertained by silly things sometimes. And so when you understand how the energetics work, it doesn't mean you have to opt out, though a lot of us try to and do for quite a while because it's... It's wonky, right? You get a little squirrely in those environments. It's uncomfortable. Like we find ourselves doing create our avatars act the fool, and we're like, where did that come from? And, and it's like, no, 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 no. I'm not controlling myself here. Like I'm otherwise a pretty intelligent, managed human being, but you know, coming to social media and it's like, wow, you know, people gone wild. Why? Why? How does it happen? It's not, it's not rocket science. Like we do know how it happens. It's the energetics, right? And when you understand and are attuned to the vibrational level of things, you understand why these conversations are getting so heated and stratified, right? And divisive, like at the drop of the hat, and it's just going to get worse, folks. It's just going to get worse. That's the spoiler, right? If we don't take management of the energetics that we're spewing all over the place, it gets worse from here. Nothing gets better from here. And read the scripts, right? Just go back to any historical text, any spiritual guidance, anything you can find, go back and find it. And, 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 and the writing's on the wall. We know it gets worse from here. If we don't take a little bit assessment of self, right? And look at what conversations we're having, how we're having them, what we're giving away for free, right? Like, because what, we get upset? Something we weren't even thinking about two seconds ago. Now all of our creative energy is divested into that. Well, let me tell you then where that energy is not. It's not with your children. It's not with your spouses. It's not with your business. It's not with your life. It's definitely not with you because you're now playing somebody else's game, which is fine. Play the game. Play the games. They're fun. Play the game, but don't let the games play you. And you have to understand the energetics if you're going to be in these spaces. Right? Wasn't it Elon Musk who said Twitter's like a war zone? Like, know that before you go into it. End of story. Like, you know what you're doing. I remember when I enlisted in the army, I had, I just defended my master's thesis. 27 years old, right? 9 um, 11 happened. 
And within two months, I had enlisted in the Army. And I remember going through basic training, and it was all kind of like, oh, well, how in the world did I end up here, right? And there was a logical thread, but there was also that very guided field thread that was like, I'm sure somewhere down the road this is going to click in for me, but right now I'm just kind of moving in that direction. But I remember being an observation of the younger recruits that had come in, 17, 18, you know, 19 years old, um, those with, without a ton of life experience beyond you know, what they had been acculturated with at home. And the defensive posturing to the reprogramming, right? The drill sergeants in your face screaming at you like spittle, like it's like, got it, right? It took two seconds of all that for me to be like, got it. You run the show, you rock, I suck. Like I'll just be over here doing exactly what you tell me to do to the best of my ability. Like I'm not gonna argue with you because I wanted to see how that reprogramming was working, right? I, I wanted the reprogramming at disciplining, but I saw the resistance to that, right? I was like, you can't do this and you can't do this. I'm thinking to myself, like, they signed the same contract I did. Like, it was voluntary. It's still a voluntary military, particularly for females, right? And it's fascinating what we do to ourselves. We volunteer to jump into these conversations. We let ourselves get pulled in like that. And we lose ourselves to them, which is fine. Lose yourself. It's a great, it's a great ride, right, if you can handle it. But if you're not aware of what you're doing, it creates real damage in your relationships or potential relationships, which also is fine if you're okay with that. But to expect that you're going to have some sort of creative, creative management or um, intentional creative expression that you can predict in any sort of fashion or funnel or channel into any sort of result when that's how your energy is being expended, you're setting yourself up for a repeated disappointment. And it creates a lot of problems, right? I mean, I've been interviewing people just on this podcast alone since 2016, but in research environments since the 90s, right? On what's making us click, what's going on inside of those brains of ours, right? Studying this stuff so that we can finally say, okay, I think we got an idea of what's really going on here. And we are more powerful than any of that, right? So, so remembering that is, is key. And the best way to remember that is to follow those two steps that I mentioned from the SIFA process. Those are the first two techniques that we teach, expanding your mind, right? And it sounds simple, but holding that all the way out, you should feel that release. Let's do it together, right? Let's just do it, okay, right? So just right now, Imagine that you have a light inside of your heads and we all have a light inside of our heads. It's flickering there. It's always on. It's like our own little pilot light. You can't, it cannot be extinguished until this body is gone, right? And even then it goes on, right? But it's in there. It's there. I promise you that it is there. It is lit up. I don't care how low you think you are right now. It's lit up in you. So you can imagine that light filling your head. And then getting bigger and bigger and let yourself relax into the idea that this can get bigger or bigger and it gets beyond this beyond the world bigger out into what we refer to as creative intelligence the potential that we all share let that provide relief and you don't have to hold all of it in your own head it's not just on you. A lot of the stuff that we're all dealing with in very personal ways, that goes back eons. We didn't, it didn't start with us, folks. It didn't start with us. It's manifested here. We've certainly been complicit and complacent, but it didn't start with us. It's going to take all of us to unpack this. Don't put that on yourself, right? You have to be responsible for your pieces but you're not responsible for that program. That was developed way before you, way before you. So expand your mind out and let that go and say, okay, I don't understand, but I'll take the release. I'll take the moment of peace. Just that one flicker of hope, take it and expand out and then let that light fill your throat, reminding you that we can speak from there, right? And go into your heart and just, even if it's just on the very edges, 
that's as far as you will, you'll go right now with me. Just soften the edges of your heart. Just soften. Let that softness go through your arms, through your hands, connecting it into that light. And remember that your heart is always soft and is powerful. And just sitting there. No matter what conversation you're facing, that's going to help you remember who you are. Those are just the first two steps, folks. Practice those. Maybe you can't practice them in the presence of others yet because the charge is too intense. That's fine. Do it in your own space. Rewind this. Rewind. Oh, geez. What's the thing? What do we call it now? I don't know. Go back. Go back. I don't know what to call it. <laughs> Watch it again. And feel that for yourself. And remember, that's in you. It is you. You are that powerful. And it's worth it to take that moment before going into conversations with people who matter about things that matter to us. Because you're going to want that creative energy, folks. It is the most amazing ride ever. Right? It is the thing we're seeking. It is what we're looking for. And it is here. Learn how to control it, right? Learn how to hold it. Learn how to work with it. You got this. Do those first two steps and you'll get there, okay? But that is how we start having the most important conversations. And if you want to hear more about that company and what they're doing, make sure you check out Chad's interview when it comes out on the Science of Superpowers. You can watch it on YouTube. You can watch it on Rumble. Listen on podcast players around the globe. Thank you so much for keeping us in those upper ranks above 1.5% globally. We thank you all. It matters to us. We know it matters to you all, and we appreciate your support throughout the years. Until next time, right? Even beyond next time, remember who you are. We love you. Love each other. Bye for now.